Hello. Uh, my name's Jack Charles. I'm an actor, elder statesman extraordinaire, and I'm here to have a talk with you. It's a distinctive, unforgettable voice that was first heard on stage in the late 1960s. Blacks are up and fighting. So stand back for the brown new black. Uncle Jack Charles founded Australia's first black theatre company with the late Bob Mazza and went on to become a familiar face on screen. This magic man, boss. Kadaicha man. Kadaicha man. Eh? Christ, don't leave! Hey. Don't want him feral mucking around with me! We're 200 light years behind the, Ameri the Americas in employing Indigenous people in the, in the arts, but they're coming through now. This is the legacy Bob Mazza and I have left. That's what we've done. But for decades, Uncle Jack struggled to come to terms with his troubled past. Taken from his young Aboriginal mother when he was a baby, he was later abused at a Salvation Army boys' home in Melbourne. Truth is, at Box Hill Boys' Home, a whitewashed me became a well-mannered, assimilated, if sexually confused soldier of the cross. He served multiple jail terms for stealing to support a heroin addiction, all while pursuing a career in theatre. On one occasion, the people he was stealing from recognised Uncle Jack from the stage. And I said, all right, Jack, we're not going to call the police, but... Uh... Uh, uh, please don't rob us again. And I never did. It's a life spent, 20 years of it, in jail. 40 years of it, addicted, chasing the dragon. After overcoming his drug addiction, Uncle Jack launched a one-man autobiographical show, Jack Charles vs. The Crown. How ironic that a tired, retired old ex crim like myself denied the right to set foot on British soil when the English colonised and decimated this continent by landing their riffraff. Take it. Go on. Your father would want you to have this. As his profile grew over the past decade, so did Uncle Jack's sense of purpose. He was the first Indigenous elder to give evidence at Victoria's Truth-Telling Commission in April. As members of the stolen generation, uh, we need an, an accounting of ourselves, get it recorded, it's a unique position to get up there in front of commissioners and start talking. I've had experience though, you see. Two months ago, Uncle Jack was honoured as NADOC's Male Elder of the Year. Treading the boards, fronting the camera and uh, waggling the finger and stamping the foot and pointing the bone at irresponsible behaviour. It's a role of an elder in my unique position. Uncle Jack last spoke to 7.30 in 2020, at the height of the COVID pandemic. I do reflect on the possibilities uh, uh, that are ahead of us, the things that we've been unable to do. We're on the road to uh, engaging with Parliament, engaging with uh, the prison industry and etc., to make a bold difference. That's where I'm at now, waiting in the wings. <laughs>